Joining us right now is NAACP President and CEO Cornell William Brooks. Good to see you, sir. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to see you. Your reaction to Trump's response last night and his showing overall right now in the black community. Uh, Mr. Trump's response last night uh, is a demonstration of the degree to which he does not appreciate uh, the, the intelligence, the policy awareness, uh, and, and the love of African Americans for this country and our concern about its future. And so the point being here is one visit to an African American church 60 days before the election does not a campaign make. Uh, dancing at an African American church, having a good time at an African American church does not speak to his positions with respect to policing uh, or voting rights or the economy relative to African Americans or Americans more broadly. Uh, yeah. As Ms. Mr. O'Reilly has lifted up, uh, his, his calling into question President Barack Obama's, Barack Obama's parentage, his citizenship, uh, is insulting. And the fact that he has not taken responsibility for that or apologized uh, speaks to the fact that he does, not, uh, he, he does not understand the people to whom he is speaking. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good point. Do you feel that President Obama should apologize to the African American community for failing to live up to the promise that he made at the start of his term? Well, the, the president uh, should not apologize to anyone with respect to his policies. The president uh, worked in the first term with a, a Congress, uh, passed uh, health care, uh, rescued the economy from the abyss. Uh, in the, the second term, uh, he, he certainly did not have a Congress that was willing to, to work with him. Right. So the president doesn't owe anyone uh, an, an apology. Let, let, let me just put, you know what, yeah, the reason I bring this up is because, you know, rap mogul P. Diddy uh, said just last week, President Obama has, quote, shortchanged the black community. He says he wants Hillary Clinton to earn his community's support. How do, you, how do either of these candidates earn the community's support? Well, uh, they earn the community's support by offering up policies, plans, uh, prescriptions for reform that make sense. Where well, you have one candidate who has serially declined to speak to African Americans until 60 days before the election. You have another candidate uh, who came before the NAACP, who went before the National Association of Black Journalists, who's spoken in depth and in detail with respect to the nation's civil rights agenda and issues of concern to the African American community. Uh, there's a stark contrast. Uh, we are 60 days out from the election. If someone can share with me or any members of the NAACP or the nation at large, where does Mr. Trump stand with respect to voting rights? Where does he stand with respect to community policing? Where does he stand with respect to African-American unemployment, which he has cited uh, inaccurately, uh, but he has not offered any prescriptions as to the resolution of that? Do you, do you think that it's um, patronizing for Donald Trump to say to the African-American community, I will fix this, I will make it better without offering an actual solution, something that he does on other policy issues too, I'm going to make it all better. Isn't the obvious question how and the same thing for Hillary Clinton? Oh, it is absolutely, it's personally patronizing and politically condescending to both uh, refuse to offer up specifics uh, and to simply be late to the party in terms of, of campaigning among African Americans and then to assume that visiting one church with one pa pastor uh, would suffice in terms of actually addressing the, the nation's uh, civil rights issues and issues of concern to the African American community. It's certainly condescending. I mean, if you so listen what, to the Hillary language... So was Hillary Clinton saying that she carries around hot sauce condescending? Was that patronizing? Um, Remember she well, said, oh, actually, you know, I carry around hot sauce. I think she was sort of playing <laughs> up to the group that she was with at the time. I think she was playing off uh, uh, Beyonce's lyrics uh, in, limit, in terms of lemonade uh, and hot sauce and carrying it in a bag. Uh, I mean, that's certainly, that's certainly a, a, a hip-hop reference, a, a joke. But C Cornell, more so to you, the you point don't think here. it was patronizing yes. then? You don't, think, you don't think it was patronizing? Uh, in the context of all that she said, no.